I'm Jeff Philbin, and this is your daily helping of ideas for dinner, or as we call them, dinner ideas. And today, we're showing you how to make the best mac and cheese, plus some very special short ribs. Our guest today in the Dinner Diaz kitchen is a familiar face, the lovely Miss Maria Rumlin, the M and the R of M and R Southern Cuisine, where the flavor resides. Last time she was here, she shared her marvelous meatloaf recipe that I'm still thinking about to this day. <laughs> and today we're tackling not just mac and cheese, but also beef short, short ribs. ribs. And how do you know to get the right beef short rib? Well, you want to go to your local butcher or any grocery store, but you want to look for the thickness of the meat. That's okay. my thing. So now we're going to do, we're going to season our short ribs up. And you know, you, get, you can't season your short ribs without having the Petty Chef beef seasoning. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The Petty Chef seasoning. Petty. Who's this lady on the label here? Of course, it's no other than myself. I'm very petty, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I've already told everybody to hey, Look, you just got to admit it and just own it. Yes, All own right. it. Okay. It's, it's going to definitely entice your meat and make your your meat act right. Who, does, who else doesn't want to be enticed by good meat? Yes. I mean, come on now. Do we have a little onion powder, you guys? Okay. I got to probably about a teaspoon or two and some garlic powder. Very nice. So the whole goal of this is to have your pot a good heat. So when your meat hits that pot, you hear that sizzle. All right. Now you can hear, we can hear the sizzle here very loud. Mm -hmm. You can grab the recipe for these very special short ribs with all the ingredients and directions you'll need. Ready to print at dinnerdias.com. The best way to get What's there. And Miss Maria good. knows this, of course. Open the camera app on your phone. Just point it right at the corner of the screen. Then tap the banner that appears on the screen and you can get straight to us right now. Right, right to us. I love it. Now, is this a dish that you make at the home then? I do. Okay. Well, my husband acts right. Well, okay, so it's all about being right, because if not, then maybe like the petty chef comes out? Very petty. Is it, yeah, <laughs> it's very. Okay, all right. And then, then he may get a scrambled egg sandwich or so. Okay. That's about it. So it's just the basics That's at that point. That's the basics. Okay. And as you see, see how we let that cook a little longer? You see that nice sear on there? Absolutely beautiful. You got a beautiful caramelization and that crust right there is just gonna Ooh, and that sear helps off. lock in the flavor of your meat. Totally. So we should be able to take our short ribs out okay. now. You're going to take these out. If you like, you can sear them on the side as well. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to cheat a little bit today. Uh-oh. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so you see what I have all that good flavor left in the pan? Oh, yeah. And we're going to go ahead and throw in our mushrooms. So it's order of operations. Yes. It's that base of flavors. We've got that beautiful meatiness that is in. And we got, yes. we're able to lock in those flavors, lock sear it all flavors. in with that beautiful crust for our short ribs. And now you're not trying to cook your pepper, I mean your onions and peppers. You're just trying to give it like a little bit sauteed because they're going to cook when you put them in the oven anyways. Mm -hmm. you're, just kinda, you're going to build off the flavors already inside the pan. We have two bay leaves. and throw those in there. One stem of rosemary. I love rosemary. Oh, yeah, it's nice. But be careful, it's very potent. You don't want to add too much. Have some fresh thyme. We're going to throw that in there. Kind of just gonna saute a little bit. So we have our tomato paste here. Just gonna kind of like saute that in there as well. Okay. This helps with a, it gives you that good sweet mm -hmm. flavor and also it gives you great color. So we're not trying to cook it. We're just gonna do like a saute. Okay. And you can't go wrong with some red wine. Oh, come Any on. Any of now. your choice. For, for us, for, for the dish, for what? We're gonna save a little for us oh. after we put it here. <laughs> so you want to deglaze your pan? Okay. Yeah, just a little bit here, okay. Yeah, just a little bit. Wait, 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 time out. I thought we were supposed to have some for us. I mean... I got some save in the bike for us. Ooh, okay. Yeah. I was going to say, like, it, it, it's empty now. Yes. <laughs> As you see that pretty rich red color in there? Absolutely. But don't worry, if you, if you don't drink, the alcohol is going to cook off anyway, so don't okay. worry about that. And we have our beef broth here. You can use any name brand, any one you choose of. I try to get the one that's on sale. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Yes. Me, that's the favorite uh, at the Philbin House too. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. We're gonna put a whole thing in there. Because remember, it's gonna be cooking in the oven. Some of your juice tends to evaporate in the sure. oven sometimes. We're gonna do probably about a cup of our chicken broth. Okay. Not much. Just a little flavor of that. You can't forget All the garlic. I know I have probably about ten cloves in here, but don't don't judge me, you guys. <laughs> don't, don't judge, judge you. Me. Don't you we'll worry. We're, we're, we're gonna be absolutely delicious. 
And then as you let it cook some, just add your short ribs back in there. Okay. So nice and meaty. Oh, it's incredible looking. Yes, you want it to be submerged inside of your sauce. And what I also yeah, this do, fantastic right now. I go ahead and I add probably a little bit more of the beefs. All right, so beef just a, a little bit coating. More. Just to just kind of top a, it off. Just a little coating. So then there we have, we put the lid back on it. All right. We're gonna throw it in our preheated oven at 375 for about three hours. We're gonna take a quick break because while our short ribs go into the oven, how Maria makes the best mac and cheese is coming straight ahead on Dinner Diaz. Welcome back to Dinner Diaz, Ideas for Dinner, and today is from our friend Maria Rumlin. Before the break, we seared up some short ribs and they're in the oven swimming around in red wine, beef broth, chicken broth, garlic, rosemary, thyme, and seasonings. Any other day that would be fine for the main meal, but today it's actually the supporting actor to Miss Maria's mac and cheese. Yes, it is. All right. I mean, some of the best mac and cheese out there. We actually try to do a lot of cheese. Seven. Seven cheeses. Okay, so let's count them down. What do we got? What are we working with then? We'll give you a little sharp. Okay. We'll give you a little mozzarella. Okay. And it, people don't like it, but I still use it, Velveeta. It's a very smooth cheese. Okay. You can use any kind of cheese your heart desires. Isn't that the fun thing about macaroni and cheese? Because, like, you know, you could play with any type of gourmet cheese, any other cheese that's Correct. accessible. You could put any type of ingredient with Like, one of my favorite recipes that I have is an adult macaroni and cheese with lobster, shrimp, and crab. Oh, yes. And, like, you could go as... Low, you can go as high. high. Macaroni and cheese is its own little palette, and yes. that's what I love about it so much. Now, we already started with so seasoning our water. I was gonna say salting it, but we didn't salt the water. We, we seasoned, seasoned it our because water. what did we put in there? We put in a little, well, salt, a lot of salt because you want your noodles to have flavor. Mm -hmm. Also, we did some black pepper. We did a little onion powder and garlic powder. That also gives your noodle a base of flavor to start out with. Okay. So you want to cook until they kind of like al dente, which in this case I think they are. Yeah. So we can go ahead and drain our noodles. All right, you want me to help you here? We're gonna let Jeff do the, this is the easy part. That's <laughs> All right. He's going to drain the noodles. Gordon Ramsay would be very proud of this moment of uh, <laughs> my ch macaroni and cheese abilities and uh, bringing over beautiful pasta here. So that's going to sit to the side. We're going to okay. start our roux. We're going to do about that much butter. And about probably, two tablespoons? About two tablespoons. Okay. Same thing with your, with your oil, because you don't want your butter to burn. Okay. Now, what exactly is a roux? A Tell roux is a old southern technique that you can do to make gravy. Okay. Also, you can do to make uh, gumbo. Okay. Which is very, a long time with gumbo. Also with macaroni, it's kind, of, it's kind of, it's the base of your cheese sauce. You basically try to do half of what you do. If you do a cup of oil, you do a half a cup of flour. I'm kind of guesstimating y'all. Um, okay. Forgive me. Um, it's a little bit of flour in there. Just start your roux off, and then you're gonna take your spoon, and you're gonna stir it. So it's just that simple as that. And then we're gonna add in our liquids, which is about two cups of each. And you wanna be careful, you don't wanna burn mm -hmm. your roux. And you wanna kinda stir as you turn, as you pour it in. And now we're just starting mm -hmm. with a little bit of half and half here. I'm doing about two cups of each or half and half. Again, I'm guesstimating, don't judge me. <laughs> we never would, all right? Cause this is where flavor resides, okay? And I get fussed this, all the time about measurements, but I'm, I'm not a measurement girl. Okay, so then we have- you know, you're, you're, It's like cooking with my mom right now. Okay, my yes. mom's one of the best cooks that I've ever been around. And I absolutely loved all, all the dishes that she would make. And I would be like, hey, what did you do here? What did you do there? Something tastes different because she was never ever following it by no. the recipe. She was never ever following it by the exact measurements. And this looks like this is something also that's coming from you here. There's a, yes. Okay, so we had the, the, the petty seasoning on the first one. What do we got over here? We have all my seasons that I combined that I put into my macaroni sauce. Okay. So it's a secret. Okay, so it's a secret. Yes. Can you tell me? But and this year? <laughs> Can you guys just like, you know. It is, I'm gonna tell you, it is a little granulated sugar in here. Okay. People don't believe in putting sugar in your macaroni, but you should because it helps. It helps offset the salty and the bitterness of the cheese. Okay. So we're gonna add a little bit of that in there. 
and I got a little uh, smoked paprika. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> you just gotta just throw it all in there like it's, it's everywhere. <laughs> it's everywhere. That's the fun part about cooking. Okay. Cooking right. with love. You don't care how. Yeah. how some it looks. people put nutmeg, a little bit of I like, like some nutmeg. paprika, a little. Cayenne. I get paprika too. Okay, but so nut, right. nutmeg is very strong, so you want to be careful with nutmeg. Okay, all right. So as your cheese starts to. I mean, your sauce starts to get a little hot, you start adding your cheese in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in our Velveeta. Velveeta's gonna be that base. All right, that's the first one that's going in here. One of seven going in there. Because yes. if you wanna take your mac and cheese to the next level, like Miss Maria's, you have got to get this recipe. Go to dinnerdias.com, scan the QR code up on the screen to get yourself over there right now. So we got cheese one in. And I, I do have a little, I do have a little smoked gouda okay. in there also. We're gonna put and that in there too. And we're not grating it. So, like, this whole box grater right here. Yeah, we can just throw this yeah. one away. We just throw. Nobody has gone, time. To, we don't gone, have time to grate out, cheese. Gone. Because you're going to grate it just to put it in the sauce for it to melt down. So, gone. it's kind of like Completely. what's the point? Just yeah, see? Gone. See how I taught you that, Jeff? You taught me. You're, you're teaching me and teaching everybody else. Yes, yes. The ways of Miss Maria right. Rumlin here. Yes. <laughs> and I love that. I love that so much. The very petty ways. The, oh, whoa, whoa. You said it on me. Okay. Yes, All right. I don't want to yes, get on the bad yes. side here because I'm not eating an egg sandwich. No. Okay. No. <laughs> I'll let that be for your husband, not for me. Okay. <laughs> I'm not having that one. Uh, I want uh, this. Yes. All right. So, what are we looking here for everything going on? Because we've already just got our Velveeta. We've got a little bit of some smoked Gouda into this. And we're used to just using the, the, the block form of it. You kind of cut up the Velveeta. I just kind of cut up a little bit and just throw it in there because it's going to melt down anyway. Okay. I put a little butter in there. And then we're going to start adding some of our other cheese. So as the harder this sauce gets, the quicker it melts out. But you don't want to do it too fast because you can burn your cheese. And if you burn it, it's, it's not going to be a good thing. So you just kind of let it melt down some. Oh, look at that. And, and I got to give you props because there is absolutely no room left in it this. Isn't. You have to push to the limit, Jeff. <laughs> push to the limit. Okay, we're going to the danger zone <laughs> then here. <laughs> All right, so what's next? So now we're going to add our noodles to our bowl. Okay. As you can see, our noodles are they're al dente. They're not cooked all the way, because again, they're gonna cook some more in the oven. Okay. So put that. Thank you. Then we're gonna allow you the pleasure of pouring. Oh, so not I got the I, see. I, I see now. I gotta see it. It goes all the way to top. See if it gets anything to drop. Now we go on all things here. No, oh, just like we do. Like, I, I was gonna like, say like that's like maybe about half. We're gonna okay. Okay, you pour. I my arteries. Thank you. You pour. <laughs> Don't judge me, okay? I am not. Are you kidding me? This is exactly how I would, I see, would do this. You hear that sound? Oh, it's, it's, it even sounds like it's gonna be so good. And this is this is only half, my friends. So you can put that down. All right. And we're gonna we're gonna put that in the fridge. So we're gonna add some more of. Oh, then we're gonna do it. I'm gonna put the rest of my Velveeta in here. We're gonna go all in. You might as well. You only live once. Just the chunks of Velveeta. Yes. So then we're gonna get our pan right here. All right. I'll bring it to you, how about that? Okay. And we're gonna start to layer it. There's no easy way, you just put it in there. And what I do is I layer it. So we're gonna pull a bit of this in between. Right. And then a little bit of the... And just to confirm, more cheese. More cheese. More cheese. <laughs> All right. And I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna put a little secret compartments of cheese in there. A little flavor pocket? Yes, because when you bite into <laughs> it, and when it melts, it goes all the way through the other noodles. All so right. then you're gonna take your other half, your better half, and you're gonna layer the remaining part in there. My trust and confidence is at the all-time high right now with you because literally, you surprised us the last time with that incredible meatloaf and it was out of this world fantastic. This mac and cheese already has all of the, the properties oh, yes. that you're looking for, okay? It's got that creaminess, it's gonna have a stringiness and a gooiness yes. that I've never ever could imagine, so. And it's gonna I, have flavor. I, and it's gonna have flavor. flavor. It should. I mean, there's like layers and layers of cheese yes. and even more flavor behind it's it. Just kind of like pan it out. Would you say that this is actually like you just totally flipped it on its like course here and that now it's no longer called mac and cheese, it's actually cheese and mac? I think it is. You okay. Know, I got that on my post one time. <laughs> That's not macaroni it's and cheese. cheese and mac. That's cheese and mac. Okay. So go take the rest of our, the, um, of course. our sharp and our... Of course. You know, you're not, you're not gonna get the macaroni. It's got to be that balance. It's like kind of like you know, start with a little bit, get yep. into the middle, He's misbehaving. get a little more, then we get a little bit more on the top. Yes. I mean, come on now. You gotta have that you ha you have for to. that spread. You have to, and plus that's gonna have all of that oh, nice yeah. little bit of bubble, and that's gonna bring everything mm -hmm. behind it. Come on. It's gonna be so freaking good. I love got it. Got a little mushroom in there. Take that out, and then we're gonna get our season. Okay. We're gonna do a little smoked paprika on top. Okay. And then we're gonna do a little parsley. And then we have a little black pepper right there. Okay. This is black pepper and a little bit of um, garlic powder. And then you guess what? In the oven. In the oven. For 30 minutes. For 30 minutes, all right. 
Three seventy-five. Three seventy-five. It's gonna go straight Ooh, in. Smell. See, smell that. Perfect. Let's put it right. You, you next. can just slide. That's hot. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -uh. He's trying to burn his fingers off, you guys. Damn. Can't do. All right. Okay. The amazing cheese and mac has an appointment with that oven over there. And while it bakes, we're taking a break. When we come back, we check in on our short ribs, and Miss Maria makes another great gravy ahead on Dinner Diaz. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Dinner Diaz. Our idea for dinner for you today comes from Miss Maria Rumlin, owner of M&R Cafe Southern Cuisine. Join us, please. Where the flavor resides. Before the break, we made a magnificent <laughs> mac and cheese. The secret's in the layering. It is. Okay. And the ton of cheese we added, too. A ton. A ton of cheese yes. we added. And we've also been cooking up short ribs, which we seasoned and seared earlier for a double bill of deliciousness. At home, you'd want to have those short ribs in the oven for at least three hours. Three. And we started some earlier, which should be ready for, well. Now. Well, not just quite yet. Just not, just not yet. Just not yet. It's almost ready. Now wow. it's ready. Now it's ready. Now it's ready. <laughs> can I go check for this? You sure can. All right. <laughs> All Do you right. need any help over here? I, I guess I can close the door for you. Well, hey, that's yes. perfect. Look at that teamwork, mic. and you get to have like a little like yes. sneak peek of that mac and cheese that's over there. Everything good in there. The cheese and mac, like it's yes. it's cheesy, delicious over there. All right, a moment of truth. Uh, Come on now. Bless me. Bless us all. In the words of my grandson, delicio. Are these done to your liking? They've cooked now yes. for the three hours. Because you normally want to test your meat okay. for the tenderness. So take your fork, and you see how that. Just pulls apart. Yep. It's effortless. What's next? We're going to do what they call a flour slurry. It's like a, a way to thicken your already pre-made gravy up. So we have here probably about, not, not even a half a cup of flour, probably about one-fourth cup of flour. Okay. And we have a cup of water here. You don't have to use the entire cup, but you want to make sure you mix it well. Probably better to get, to get you a... Um, a whisk? A whisk, yeah. So you can, you can like thoroughly get it mixed in there. Ask and you shall receive, my friend. You're too good for me. You're too hey, good. You know, <laughs> when we have the best come in, we have to bring the best out. Okay, Correct. that's the only way. I like, you know, you're, I'm with you when you're right. So as you add it in, it determines how much more you need because you don't want to add too much and it's pasty. You just want to kind of make your sauce a light graving. But again, it's your preference. Don't follow what I say. It's your purpose. <laughs> but you can because for Miss Maria's recipes for not just these short ribs, but also the mac and cheese, uh, go to our website, dinnerdias.com. Scan the QR code there to get straight to it. See, look at that. It's coming together. Amazing. It's coming together. And if you turn it out and let it cook a little longer, if, if you like, it'll help thicken the process up a little more, too. But it's, it's straight out of the oven, so it's already piping hot. It's already piping yeah. hot. So, so we're, we're good. It's, it's ready to serve. All right. So when we come back, we're going to taste test this gravy, those short ribs, and not forgetting our mac and cheese. cheese. And cheese. Cheese and Mike. And cheese. And cheese. Cheese? I think you forgot one. Cheese? Maybe two more. Cheese? One more. Cheese. cheese. That's all <laughs> ahead on Dinner Diaz. <laughs> Back to dinner, Diaz, and welcome back to a triumphant return visit from Ms. Maria Rumlin. She's the owner of MR Cafe Southern Cuisine. Follow along on the screen where, where the, the flavor, flavor resides. resides. Today, she made us her short ribs and gravy, but more importantly, the only mac and cheese you'll ever need to know how to make. This mm -hmm. looks absolutely stunning. I can't wait to just go right into it. Yes. Let's do it. Let's get it. So we're gonna go ahead and give, we're gonna give Jeff just a little bit, not too much. Just a little bit. I just mean, a corner of it. Because am I gonna get the mac or am I gonna get the cheese? I mean, we've got like seven different cheeses we're in gonna here. gonna get the cheese of Look it. at that, look how stringy. Ooh. Oh, that is ooey gooey delicious. That's always the best. It's yes, like, where it's it just is. like, oh, I gotta put that right back in. It's just kind of like, let I'm that piece go. I'm gonna have just a little bit right here. It's gonna take a lot for me. It's gonna take a lot? Mm -mm. Well, there's a lot of hard work and love that went into this. Yes, it is. What should we be tasting here? Oh, just the goodness of the cheese. Oh, look at that, look at that. 
It's incredible. It's so good. Mm. You want to see how high this can go? Yeah, that is. It good. goes all the way off camera. That that is how literally. Mm. I've got like an aerobics like workout of just cheese right now, like and one, and it's two, <laughs> and three. By this time, I'm gonna count all the cheeses we added into this. And it's cheesy. It's not greasy. It's creamy. The noodles have a bite, a slight bite to it. It's like the perfect. You did them so well because they were al dente. Mm -hmm. They finished off with all those cheeses and it allowed for it to just kind of cook so well. Yes. And, but we can't give, you know, without some love to our beautiful short ribs here. You don't, Look, even, you don't even need a knife. Look at I, that. You know, Look I was kind of going for it, going like I'm being a gentleman here and I'm like, no, I'm, I'm rip it right off. Just rip it right off because. I mean, just rip it right off. Okay. That's what it all about. Mm. Okay, let's see it, what's going it's on. It's delicious. What are you tasting? I taste the love. Okay. And most, and most of all, I taste the patty shell beef seasoning <laughs> and the short rib. Okay, yes. so, so that is where the flavor resides. Right. Okay, mm. that is where the flavor resides. <laughs> I am tasting all of those beautiful flavors and mm. that tomato paste, just to kind of bring such a richness behind it. Yes. That little bit. That is delicious. Of depth. Mm. Now, just going back to the mac and cheese though, because I gotta ask, you think we could have put more cheeses in, into it? We could have. We could have even put up. more into it? Yes. Well, we're just gonna have to find out for the next time then. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks again to Maria Rumlin. Go to dinnerdeals.com for the recipes for everything she's made today and a link to her M&R Cafe Southern Cuisine Restaurant, which is where you can buy her Petty mm. Chef seasonings I'm never the petty, Jeff Philbin. Thanks for watching, and see you next time for more Dinner Diaz.